Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing Rambo First Blood Part 2. But what I got to say about the film is that I can't say it's as good as First Blood, but if you're really into an action movie, and I, I'm not going to lie, like this and like, like, uh, like Rambo and Rocky, or like Stallone's just like absolute, where like he was in the best shape of his life, but in my opinion, I think in First Blood Part 2, uh, and in Rambo 3, that's when he was in the best shape of his life, but, um, anyways, I think that in the movie, at the beginning when he's in the quarry though, and Colonel Troutman asks him if he'd want to go to Vietnam, or have a chance to be reinstated temporarily and if the mission's successful then he'd he, he'd be free and not have to go back or spend five years and I, I think that <laughs> it, was, it was definitely a good choice that he just decided to go there and uh, try to rescue POWs but um, <laughs> I mean obviously you know Rambo's gonna have to like kill people to survive, I mean, he's not just going to go there just to take pictures, and that, that's what he was supposed to do, but obviously, he has, like, arrows, and what doesn't make any sense to me is, like, they give him, like, an MP5K, like, without a suppressor, and if, if you're in, like, the jungle, and, like, somebody hears you, and there's so many places that they could hide and take you out, and it really doesn't make that much sense to me. Well, why he wouldn't, like, there wouldn't be a built-in suppressor into it, so, anyways, he cut all the gear off when he was about to jump out of the airplane, and then he relies on his arrows and silent takedowns. Now, I understand during the nighttime when he he's out there killing people, like, how he can take them out one by one, but during the daytime, that doesn't make too much sense to me, um, and then, not not to mention that the people that Rambo were working for were mercenaries, though. And, I mean, they're sitting there and they, they leave a man behind. And then Rambo gets tortured, though. And Rambo finds a Vietnamese woman that, like, he likes. And then she gets, like, shot and he dies and then... Like, he's behind a rock, and he's just getting shot at, and, like, it's like their weapons don't do anything, but he just, like, jumps up and just starts shooting them, though, and, like, he, he has, like, some auto-aim feature in, in him, but anyways, um, like, he, he finally was, um, able to rescue some POWs after being tortured, um, and he got them, and... He got into the helicopter, and then he has this fam famous scene with the, the M60 where he, he goes out there to rescue the POWs to get them to the chopper, and he just hip-fires it and, and kills a bunch of people, and then they all get in the chopper, and some guy get one of the POWs gets shot, and then Rambo shoots the guy that shot him, like the guy with the AK-47, but it turned out to be a Russian. Because the Vietnamese were working with the Russians, though. And anyways, then all of a sudden, like, a big uh, Russian helicopter comes to attack them. And I, I, I don't really know, or I'm not completely sure. But, like, if the chopper got shot in the back end, like, I don't really understand how the chopper just keeps going. And, like, Rambo la lands, and then and the chopper pulls up, and then... Rambo just pulls out the M72 law and, like, shoots the chopper. But, like, the backblast doesn't kill anybody in the chopper. Does that make a lot of sense? And I know it's a movie, so. <laughs> but, anyways, then Rambo starts the chopper back up and makes it back to base. And then he takes the M60 and goes in there and shoots the whole, all the electronics up and... <laughs> Then, then he gives his famous line, you know there are more people out there. And 
so find them or I'll find you and then all of a sudden like Ramble just walks off into the distance but anyways I, I think the movie I, I mean there's no way I'm giving the movie a 10 out of 10 but I would personally give the movie like 6 out of 10 because it was just more based on action in my opinion so but that's really all I got to say about that. Other than that, have a good night.